Uh, greetings, Taurus, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. And how are you? I hope you're doing well. And let's dive right in and see what the reading is for you for July 2024. Uh, and I can't believe we're already at uh, the halfway point of this amazing year so far. And um, this is what I have for you as the vibrational field uh, coming up for you in the month of July where you're going on a tantric journey. Take a moment to look into this amazing image. The number 42 could be very important. You could be 42 or know someone that's 42 that you're on a tantric journey with. And this is the message. The frequency of tantric journey helps us to unlock the hidden knowledge and wisdom that we intrinsically hold about how to reach a state of wholeness and completion through our sensual experiences with ourselves and with another. Well, that is the connection, a Taurus, you bring that sensuality, the quality of the Empress, which is about um, creation itself and sexuality, productivity, um, in the sense of giving birth. Uh, and we give birth to ourselves. We give birth through this uh, sacred uh, tantric journey. You're beginning that. And that is what I see as we come into uh, this month of July for you. And thank you so much, Spirit Guides, for overseeing this reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And my name is Ingrid, and I'll be diving in here with you to see what the cards have. And uh, this is you, the lovers. Well, you, as you go on a tantric journey, you'll be joining with the lovers. The lovers is a, an important relationship. It's often, but not necessarily, romantic, it's sexual. Uh, a partnership that brings you a lot of a pleasure, a sensual experience, a bringing the spirituality of the body into uh, incarnation uh, through uh, raising our vibration. And that's coming because it's coming in fast with a communication. You're hearing something uh, verbally about this partnership. Maybe uh, this choice you've been wanting to make in a relationship is uh, coming in and you're looking over it and you're getting new information. It could be difficult to hear, but it's coming about this partnership. And it's going to bring you at the foundation this happiness you see the rainbow and the rainbow is represent represents all of our uh, chakras in alignment and once you align those chakras through the tantric journey and that is the a purpose of tantra is to raise from our root chakra um, through our uh, sacral uh, solar plexus our heart our throat our third eye and then our crown and that is this uh, incredible spiritual sexual release and it's coming uh, with a lot of bliss and happiness after a storm. And it's, uh, recently you were in, um, under a delusion about this connection that you were making uh, or that you had made. Maybe you've been involved with this for six years and that you um, had felt something rumbling at the foundation, some new happiness, something about wanting a Taurus to be in this connection more with family, or with generational happiness, or with love, um, and mainly something very important in your relationships that you've been thinking a lot about and communicating about. And you had, in the recent past, uh, wanted to get clarity on it, have been having a dream about this uh, connection. And in the moonlight, you see it's a card of transformation of evolution, you're coming out of the unconscious, out of the realm of the moon, not knowing, into the earth, uh, past the uh, wolf and the dog, which is um, the, both the tame and the uh, wild sides of our instinctual nature. And Taurus, you are moving on this life journey now. And the journey is important because it's coming with a tantric partner. Uh, it says uh, our, through um, our sensual experiences with ourselves and with another. And this is coming and it's bringing you a lot of bliss and happiness and not only uh, 
happiness, but a sense of fulfillment, of fulfilling your destiny. And you're waking up to that. You're seeing it more clearly. But in the recent past, you didn't have all the information. You might not have uh, seen it clearly. You could have been under some um, delusion because the moon uh, makes us uh, turn into lunatics at times. We, um, it stimulates a part of our brain, a part of our a spirit uh, that is uh, frightened, that is uncertain, uh, that is easily deceived. But you are uh, moving out of that through your psychic abilities. And you have done a lot of introspection. At the crown, what you are now seeing that you can download is this wisdom. You climbed to the top of the mountain. You could have been in isolation represented by the top of the mountain where the snow still is. But you're following that star. You've known uh, the truth of that. And you have never given up on that uh, possibility that you knew this bliss this happiness, this connection with others, family, friends, community, is um, for you. It's coming in, and you might have to get some information um, and, or speak about it. Uh, that could be challenging that, something coming in, but you're taking your rod and the lantern, and you're uh, going for that inner wisdom. And you could have had a masculine teacher um, a man or woman, but someone who took you in under their wing to teach you this uh, very sacred information. But it often requires uh, going the journey alone. And you've got the Seven of Cups, Taurus, coming in. In the near future, uh, there will be choices. And because in the uh, recent past and the near future, there are both cards of um, choices to be made, but somehow you don't have all the information. You could be in a daydream uh, under an illusion. This is the seven deadly sins. So something needs to be clarified. You need to get more uh, information. Uh, and the information's coming in about this choice and love. And uh, you, at the foundation, maybe out of your field of awareness, is this uh, happiness that you're having the wisdom uh, to move forward toward because you're going to be the fool now. Step out, uh, a fool for love, because see how the fool is stepping out uh, toward this new relationship that will has the hope of bringing a lot of happiness, and you're hoping you're going to make this important uh, decision. You might have a lot of op options right now, but you're looking at um, this possibility of love or a choice you've made in love, and. You want to go for it with innocence, with a naivete. You might not have all the facts, but you're uh, taking the leap of faith and trusting in the universe that this is going to be a right out working for you. And uh, that is um, coming for you. Uh, it's amazing. Let's see what it is uh, on this tantric journey. You are uh, coming into something with a lot of... Uh, wands, someone in your environment has been carrying a heavy load, or the influence on your from your environment could be burdensome or holding you back from uh, taking this new beginning out there. You uh, have been burdened by choices recently and feeling obligated to make a decision that you might not be able to make, and you need more information. You need to go inward to get the introspection of what will really bring you happiness, a fulfillment, contentment, and the realm of the heart because your hope and fear is the queen of cups, that you will sit with your foot um, in the water and one on the ground and feel deeply, have a lot of emotion about this new beginning, have a lot of compassion, sensitivity, a good listener, that's your hope and fear that you will have that a, a connection with your heart, with your intuition. And you've got the moon and the queen of cups. There's a lot of uh, going deep into your dreams. And you will be able to sit on this throne, um, another queen, um, the queen of wands, because you are going into uh, the sense of uh, this passion, this confidence that you can move forward, both in the realm of your heart a Taurus into July um, with a lot of compassion, but also a lot of passion, 
um, for your feelings, for a loving another person. And there's a lot of feeling of a starting and a new beginning. This choice will bring you a lot of happiness, but you need to take uh, the leap of faith to move forward. Uh, be a beginner's mind with love again. After what you've uh, understood, uh, what wisdom you've gained. And you have these two queens, whether you're a man or a woman, Taurus, you're gonna be able to uh, connect these two together. And you see how they're actually looking to each other in some way, uh, toward the cup and then toward this uh, sunflower. So with a lot of um, ability to nurture your feelings, to nurture what you truly value and want, but also to nurture your passions, your desires, your sexuality, your psychic abilities. And uh, that is what I have for you, uh, Taurus, as you go on this tantric journey. And um, this is the frequency to unlock the hidden knowledge and wisdom. And this is the hidden knowledge and wisdom that you're unlocking through following your star, um, that you intrinsically hold about, you know how to uh, go for this. Uh, you have this inner uh, wisdom, but also you have this uh, psychic ability uh, to move toward intuitively what you know is right for you, this inner knowing with this uh, passionate a uh, queen of wands. And that we intrinsically hold about how to reach a state of wholeness and completion through our sensual experiences. And this is very connected to sensual experiences with yourself and with another Taurus. And that's what I have. And let's get one final card to see what the month of July has in store for you of a message from your angels. And this is a very powerful a reading because there is a the lovers come out and there's quick communication uh, with, with a lot of momentum it could be difficult communication but it's coming in because it's gonna bring happiness bliss uh, connections with family relationships something deep that you've uh, been wanting this connection and you're getting psychic abilities you're trying to get all the information you need and you're following your inner wisdom you might have been in solitary a confinement or alone a lot recently with your thoughts but you're going to make a um, choice is coming up in the um, upcoming future for you a important decision about what will make you happy in july and you're s sensing the way you're thinking about it is i'm going to take that leap of faith uh, toward this um toward this love this partnership this uh, connection and make this connection within myself bringing the masculine and feminine within me that divine sacred marriage and to see whatever burden is influencing you from your uh, environment or another person you're gonna almost there you're almost to completion and then you have these two very nurturing of uh, feminine queens of the waters of the heart of emotion of intuition and of fire and going passionately after your uh, confidence and that's what's coming and the message from your uh, angels um, want you to know this message to take into July wow well is <clears throat> opportunity well you know you have this opportunity this gold is going to rain down on you with the queen of wands and entrepreneurial idea you're just going to go toward it you might not even know how to um, take this opportunity but you are because you're going to say yes to um, this opportunity you might have been um, uh, headhunted by some company and they want you to come work for them or you have an opportunity and all the skills and credentials to say yes uh, because uh, you're going to get more information but we had said that earlier in the recent past uh, there was something that was not clear and you're going to get more information about this so you can uh, listen to your intuitions with the queen of cups you're listening to that deep intuition and that will help you to know you're ready Taurus you're ready to move forward now 
And that's what I have for you. And please subscribe if you stayed um, in the reading this long. And I'd love to hear a comment from you. It's really where you're from, how this resonates with you. And you know I love you. And see you next time, Taurus. Bye-bye.